It was Mitsubishi's answer to Nissan's 300ZX, Mazda's RX-7, and Toyota's Supra. Only in production from 1982 to 1989, this car was as scrappy as a middleweight fighter and had enough clout to back it up. So, what kind of car is it? Starting in production in 1982, the Mitsubishi Starion was a two-door, turbocharged, four-cylinder, rear-wheel drive sports car that to this day make people confused at what they're looking at. Hey, is that a Daytona? No. Hey, is that a Probe? No. Hey, is that a Mustang? No! Mustang doesn't even have pop-up headlights! With its bulging over fenders and its pop-up headlights, the Starion was marketed in the U.S. as a Starion and rebadged as the Conquest under Dodge, Plymouth, and Chrysler. The Starion was manufactured in two body styles, the narrow body, aka the flatty, which was only produced through the 1985 and a half model year, and the wide body, aka the fatty, which is how the mass mechanic likes his women. Now I want you to do me a favor, pronounce stallion with a Japanese accent. What do you got? Exactly. Legend has it, that's how the car got its name. Others say it's a shortened version of Star of Orion, which refers to a star and the mythical horse, Arion. Believe whatever story you want, but I'm sticking with the first one. Okay, let's talk engines. Us Americans like things big, so we received the large 2.6 liter single overhead cam Astron G54B engine. But most markets got the smaller, serious single overhead cam 2 liter 4G63. Yeah, you heard what I said. The same 4G63 that would soon be equipped with a dual overhead cam and power the Evo and Eclipse! Come on! After 1987, Mitsubishi decided to level the playing field and equip all markets with the 2.6 liter. This change had something to do with stricter emissions restrictions in the 80s. Earlier non-intercooled engines produced about 145 horsepower and 185 foot-pounds of torque. In 1985, the output climbed to about 170 horsepower and 220 foot-pounds of torque with the addition of an intercooler. In 1988, the 2.6 liter peaked at 188 horsepower and 234 foot-pounds of torque. Near the end of the Starion's U.S. run, a new sports handling package could be bought. The SHP included adjustable front and rear struts and 1 inch wider wheels, 16 by 8s in the front and 16 by 9s in the rear. In 1988, a special edition Conquest TSI SE was marketed to pay tribute to various IMSA and SCCA championship wins. Yeah, that's right. The Starion won a lot of races in its time. As a matter of fact, the Starion had 22 first place finishes spanning from 1984 to 1990 in all sorts of SCCA, IMSA, and rally events. Sadly, production ceased in 1989 despite its success in motorsports. For some reason, the Starion never really caught on. Maybe it was because people couldn't see past the Super, 300ZX, and RX-7. But this car was just as good, if not better in areas than the heavy hitters from the land of the rising sun. If you ever get a chance to ride in or buy one of these cars, do it! I guarantee you will be hooked as soon as you turn the key. Hey, Scott here with SNR Motoring. If you like what you watch today, please consider subscribing to our channel and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The winner of the t-shirt contest will be listed in the description. So all you have to do is send us an email and tell us what shirts you want and what sizes. I also want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to our channel. We actually hit 100 subscribers this past week. And we can't tell you enough how much we appreciate the support. 
So again, if you like what you watched today, please subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.